here's the piece of uh, water birch that I want to try and make a spoon out of. And the first thing I do is locate where the heartwood is. And this one's kind of neat because the heart is way off center. They're over here. Which means I have all this wood to make a spoon. I want to make the spoon on one side or the other of the heart. Well, it just so happens that this is where the heart is here. And then on this side, the heart is here too. And so you have quite a bit of area there to carve. The kind of spoon I'm carving is uh, going to be a coffee scoop or some kind of a scoop. It's kind of rounded out the end. Shows me where my spoon's kind of going to be. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with it. I've just been kind of profiling the, the scoop. And so I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and carve the bowl out while I'm thinking of what to do on top of the spoon. To me, it looks like I could put a, a bird or something up here. Maybe a raven. I think a, a raven would be a good idea. I'm really liking this little Mora uh, neck knife. The profile of that, the way that's shaped, uh, really is pretty good for carving. Just general getting rid of wood. That's the spoon carving knife that my daughter got me years ago. And it's really what got me started carving. setting up on top of the spoon here. So I think it'll, it'll be kind of turned a little bit sideways so his tail will be here and his beak will be right in here somewhere. Something like that shape right there of a raven and maybe looking back at him with his head turned a little bit like that. like a raven yet. I don't know if it ever will look like a raven, but I'm having fun anyway. And the main thing is I'm learning how to handle the knife without cutting myself.
I'm about finished with it. Carved in the main feathers. And it's a raven, so I want it to be black. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of cheat and, and, and use my wood burner to wood burn in all of the, the feathers on it. Well, I got all the feather textures put on, but it's still not dark enough, so I'm going to take a heat gun or something and, and char it up a little bit. What do you think about it, Pearly? Mm. <laughs> this is a mixture of ammonium chloride and food thickener and water. And all the food thickener does make it a little bit heavier bodied so that it kind of stays where I want it to. And I'm going to paint this on and then apply heat to it and it should darken it up if I've got my recipe right. I have to be careful not to burn it to get it too hot. There's still a little bit of brown here and there on it, but it did a pretty good job of just naturally getting a burnt black look. Let that set for a little bit, blow off the foam, and you got yourself a good cup of coffee. My brother made this cup. He went out and found the clay naturally out in the country and uh, shaped it and fired it the old-fashioned style uh, with just wood piled up on it and boy it works really good he even embossed my picture of me on the front of it it's kind of hard to see probably from there but I really like this cup it's just the right size <laughs>